With just hours to go before a midnight deadline here at the state capitol, Northland lawmakers are hopeful for a majority of bills to be passed before late tonight. It's compromise and that it's democracy and it's sometimes slow and it's sometimes messy, but I think we're going to have a good result. The work started early on Monday. Minnesota lawmakers meeting to battle it out, hoping for a final deal. Oh, we're working really hard to pass bills that the governor will sign and that takes time. Republican Representative Sandy Lehman still fighting in the final hours for funding toward the Grand Rapids Children's Discovery Museum, IRRRB, and broadband expansion. Some really good things for rural Minnesota and especially some good things for northeastern Minnesota. Meanwhile, Democrats are continuing to barter with their counterparts before bills are sent to Governor Mark Dayton's desk. Well, the reality is we're in the minority and we're doing as best as we can, as much as we can, but it's really up to the Republicans to steer the ship. House and Senate Democrats first set sail on this rocky voyage back in January. I really Really care deeply about our community and I care deeply about our state. Care creating a course of action for Representative Liz Olson. As a freshman in the minority, she's seen firsthand how hard it can be to get a job done on time. We have worked so hard and in these last few hours of session, we're going to keep pushing the best we can to really come to a conclusion that's helpful for Duluth, that's helpful for our state, but I'm not the one behind closed doors. Democratic Representative Jennifer Schultz telling Fox 21 funding for for projects such as the Duluth steam plant, cleanup on the St. Louis River, and airport runway reconstruction look to be included in the final budget deal. We're working really hard here to make sure all of the Duluth projects are in there, specifically the steam plant. State funding could mean millions of matched dollars at the federal level, especially for the steam plant and St. Louis River cleanup projects. Sometimes leadership wants one thing, and right now the Republican priority are tax cuts. So there's disagreement about how to spend the money. Governor Dayton deciding not to step back on his stance with funding for pre-K and education in the state. I'm not sure if we can get all of our work done because the biggest constraint is the reviser's office. It doesn't feel like we're about to finish on time. Uh, which is highly unfortunate. Senator Eric Simonson feeling frustrated when it comes to a midnight deadline. He is, however, optimistic when it comes to avoiding a government shutdown. This really is a negotiation between the governor and the, and the House and the Senate, and I think they didn't allow enough time for that physically to take place. The Republicans kind of walked away from the table in the, in the final two weeks. Blame brought to the table as the clock ticks down. Lawmakers holding together for hope this will be resolved with a brief special session. We are really falling into what they have done and the decisions they're making at this point that are leading us into the remaining hours of session and a lot of work left to be done. It's more important to see the quality of the bills that are passed and I think that Minnesotans can be really pleased with how they're being represented here in St. Paul. The next fiscal year doesn't begin until July 1st, giving lawmakers plenty of time to decide on a budget bill before then. In St. Paul, Brett Scott, KQDS Fox 21.